Hello everyone, so this is a teaser to my talk Non-Interactive Secure Computation of Inner Product from LPN and LWE. This is a joint work with Mariam Zarezadeh. So Non-Interactive Key Exchange uh, is well known in cryptography, it has a very appealing interaction pattern and parties simultaneously broadcast a single message, their public key. And given these simultaneous broadcasts, each pair of party can locally compute its shared key. Um, and the nice way of this interaction pattern is that it avoids the n square overhead of a naive pairwise key exchange. So it's a very appealing interaction pattern. And so something which would be quite desirable would be to achieve a similar interaction pattern for some secure computation functionalities. Right? Key exchange is one goal, but secure computation offers us many other interesting goals. So in secure computation, we will want n parties to broadcast an encoding of their input. And then each pair of parties should be able to retrieve its output without any further interaction, just by computing some output function on its local state and the encoding of the other party. And again, this will have the very appealing effect of avoiding the quadratic overhead of doing pairwise secure computation. In this work, we will describe non-interactive secure computation for computing shares of the inner product functionality. And this is very useful. It has many applications. And in particular, if you want to compute multi-party inner products, so not just shares of the inner product, you just need to broadcast a single element of the field at the end of the protocol. So it's quite efficient. Non-interactive inner products have many natural applications. I'm listing a few here. Uh, it includes, uh, among other things, biometric authentication, pattern matching, and many more. So to, for example, with biometric authentication, you could have n client and m servers. Each has a fingerprint stored. So all parties will first broadcast an encoding of their fingerprint. And then at any time, a server and a client could locally compute the Hamming distance between the two fingerprints. Hamming distance can be reduced to computing an inner product uh, without further interaction. And afterwards, the client and the server will have shares of this Hamming distance, and the client will just have to broadcast a single element from which the server could reconstruct the Hamming distance between the two and check whether it's below the acceptance threshold. So that will lead to a very efficient multi-party authentication mechanism, biometric authentication mechanism. So how do we do that? I'll give more details in the talk, but the key idea is that we start from Alekhnovich key exchange, right? So it's a well-known uh, way to uh, non-interactive key exchange protocol based on the learning parity with noise assumption. And we show that since computing the shared key in Alekhnovich key exchange natively includes doing some local inner product, we can actually use this homomorphic property of Alekhnovich and embed some inner product computation inside of the Alekhnovich key exchange computation. So by embedding in the right way some input, input vector x and some input vector y uh, inside this Alekhnovich key exchange, computing the shared key actually um, boils down to computing additive shares, so that we see here, minus k and k, of the inner product between x and y, plus some noise term. And the communication we show is very efficient. So for standard parameters, it will be 6m, uh, where m is the length of the vectors, so really a small uh, constant factor overhead. And asymptotically, it becomes uh, very close to just sending the inputs in the clear, so optimal. And the computation is quasi-linear using standard variants of LPN based on quasi-cyclic codes and can even be made strictly linear using more exotic assumptions variants of LPN. So this uh, solution has some uh, leakage because there is an error. And when you use this in a multi-party setting, this error translates into some leakage of information about the noise that, for example, the servers could obtain. If you want to remove the leakage, we describe two variants, one based on LWE, which achieves negligible errors directly at the cost of uh, larger communication. And we also describe a very nice way to do preprocessing to remove the errors. So it uses interaction, but this preprocessing is input independent and has communication sublinear in the size of the vector. So it really has adds only a minimal overhead. And we also describe some new zero knowledge proof to enhance the security of our protocols in the malicious setting. Uh, the new zero knowledge proof might be of independent interest, but for that, uh, you will have to see the talk. I'll be happy to see you online.